Hi, good morning. Welcome to this interview, Father Santos, Cristina. Good morning. Good morning. In a world with significant political and economic inequalities, what kind of economy do we need to develop? What paradigm do the University of the Society of Jesus offer to the society? I think, you know, uh, when you look at, uh, as you mentioned, the disparities that we see today in the world, we need an economic system that works for everybody, not just for a few. And we, we need an economic system that kind of is mindful of the planet that we live on. So that's, that's the kind of thing, this is an opportunity for Jesuit business schools to come up with an economic system that works for everybody, that is you know, oriented towards human flourishing and flourishing of the planet. The inspirational paradigm is based on the Ignatian tradition of trying to help our students become uh, excellent professionals who are also conscious, compassionate and committed. People and professionals who put uh, their knowledge and skills to serve others. Uh, in, this, in this sense, the inspirational paradigm puts emphasis on, on two dimensions, on reviewing the curriculum in, the curriculum in order to, to stress that the economical activity has to serve the common good, and uh, this has to be addressed not only on a specific uh, courses that help our students to understand uh, the social reality, but also through interdisciplinary projects, uh, because uh, this has to be incorporated in all the disciplines and academic areas, not only the typical business ethics course or the sustainability course. And second, uh, the inspirational paradigm put emphasis on the pedagogy. Not only on the content, as I mentioned before, but also on the, on the pedagogy. In this sense, uh, loyal to our Ignatian uh, tradition, we propose to use experiential, transformational mm -hmm. pedagogies such as the community engaged learning, because this type of um, pedagogies uh, touches not only the minds of our students, but also their hearts, mm -hmm. because they get in contact with those uh, with those suffering, and uh, this makes them develop attitudes, values, more than knowledge and, and skills. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, this paradigm does not emerge from a single person, of course, but from collaboration. How has been the process in your task force? Well, so we started off with uh, kind of a, you know, a task force consisting of mostly deans, some faculty members. Mm -hmm. But then we had this big conference together with the International Humanistic Management Association, got a lot of faculty. We had about over 200 uh, faculty that kind of attended that uh, virtual conference. And then we uh, got them engaged into uh, academic disciplines, kind of again with the challenge of using the inspirational paradigm to come up with curricular innovations in their disciplines. And so it's been a it's been a process of engaging, uh, you know, a lot of uh, faculty and deans over time. Right? Also, also from outside the uh, uh, the Jesuit Business School network, you know, working with uh, groups like Ashoka, UN Prime, ASCSB, the crediting body, etc. So that makes a lot of, of uh, sense. I mean, in terms of collaboration, yes. I, I would add that in addition to engaging mm -hmm. and raising awareness, we supported them with two runs of a call for funding mm -hmm. for the elaboration of these materials. So during two uh, spring summers, mm -hmm. uh, more than 60 faculty have participated mm -hmm. on these calls for funding, elaborating materials. And uh, we would like to mm -hmm. stress and, and that these materials are open access mm -hmm. and they are available in the United platform, so anyone that would like to, to use materials in the different areas, we have materials in accounting, finance, economics, operations, they are available in that platform. Well, you have done a lot, and there's more to come, I guess. Yes. <laughs> well, to, to get there, to achieve this objective, our universities must act as formation centers. What should business education look like in our institutions? Yeah. Okay, uh, I think we should uh, help our students grow, not only as professionals, but as persons. So we need to put a, a lot of emphasis on the character formation on their formation uh, in terms of attitudes and values. And for that, uh, we should put 
special emphasis on uh, putting them in contact with those suffering. Uh, to live the, what they experience, mm -hmm. but also we need to, um, to make them reflect about that. It cannot be an experience of just getting in contact with them. We need to, them to reflect on the underlying causes of these uh, so social inequities, this environmental crisis, etc. So we need to, encor to encourage them to get deeper into the causes of that and uh, to adopt a collaborative approach and work with other stakeholders. Because the, the challenges we are facing are so complex that they need to work collaborative mm -hmm. uh, with others. Yeah, and also, you know, so when you talk of formation, right, mm -hmm. it's also formation of students, but also our faculty yeah. uh, need to be also formed. Uh, and so part of that is kind of like, you know, how do we get the faculty on board mm -hmm. and form them so that they can also kind of embrace the inspirational paradigm. Sure. I am sure that when we have faculty engaged, mm -hmm. then the things, the processes, the students are going to flow with them. Right. Has this perspective already been included in any of our institutions? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Being loyal to our Ignatian tradition, what we have seen is that uh, faculty have responded very positively because there were already some experiences in, in all universities, there were experiences. What uh, we believe is that uh, maybe they are not enough. We need to institutionalize and make them be the core, the central part of our education and have all our students experiencing uh, or being exposed to this type of experiential and transformational experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when we started on the journey, we were asked to create a new paradigm mm -hmm. of Jesuit business education. But as we kind of like, you know, got information from our different business schools, mm -hmm. we saw that, oh, actually, a lot of this is going on in small ways in different uh, business schools mm -hmm. and so we changed the you know the terminology from new to inspirational mm -hmm. and uh, but you know as christina said it's really kind of like how do we institutionalize something like this and so how do we uh, so it's not just a few faculty members or a few courses in you know individual business schools but mm -hmm. how can we collectively make a difference and you know institutionalize the whole effort in an opportunity like this, the one that we are having these days, where Jesuit universities are gathered together, how can we move forward in the collaboration? I mean, there's a lot uh, to, to achieve. Um, how can we make this shift in the perspective of the business education specifically? I, I would say we can do that through th three types of actions. First, co-creation, working together in the elaboration of these materials, courses, educational experiences. That is what we have tried to promote yes. through these calls for finding. There were many projects that were prepared by faculty of different centers, not only faculty from one mm -hmm. Jesuit university. So promoting co-creation. Co Second, making that uh, available to everybody. So co-creation, second, open access and sharing. And the third will be institutionalization. So that would be not making only our faculty share and co-create, but also um, invite our administrators or, or deans, presidents, vice presidents to share their experiences in the institutionalization of this, uh, of this paradigm. Right now, so I mean, you, you, you nailed it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, at different levels and how do you institutionalize and kind of co-create uh, to make a difference. So we look forward to seeing and uh, be part of what you are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>